Welcome to this quick video on the index function in Microsoft Excel. So this is used to find a value or a reference within a table or a range in Excel. So I'm going to give you, just like the rest of the videos, a really simple, easy example to work with. And then you can go and you can think about all the different ways that this quick function might be really useful for you to use. So I've got two examples that I'm going to go through nice and simple and easy. And I'm going to make it a teeny tiny little bit more complex. But you can see on the right hand side of my spreadsheet, I've got two bits of information I want to find from my table. Now I've only got a very basic table, so I can probably do it anyway. But if you just want to do this quickly and you've got lots of data, then hopefully you'll be able to see from this video how simple and easy it is to find that information if you know what you're looking for. So I'm going to find the fifth name in the list. So I'm going to go to the name box and click where I want that information to be presented. And remember when you're doing any functions or anything in Excel, you're going to start with the equal sign. And that tells the system that you're going to put in, you're going to do some calculation or you're going to put in a function. Because this is a function, I'm going to start typing in the name, nice, simple and easy. It's index. So if I start typing in IND, you can see index is there and available for me. And then it's going to ask me what information I'm looking in that I want to pull out from. So I can either type this in or I can just go over because I'm going to look at the names and select and drag down all of the names because that's the information that I want it to look at. Whenever I'm splitting up information in a function, I need to use a comma. So I'm going to put a comma next. So just like the rest of the videos, we're building up the function nice and easy. Remember, there are different ways that you can create a function as well using the formulas tab or the function bar. But I find this the easiest way to work with and it helps me to remember and work out what I've done and process it through nicely. So now that it knows what I'm looking at, I need to tell it what number I'm looking for. So remember, I'm looking for the fifth um, cell, the fifth name in the list. So I'm going to put five and then I'm going to close my brackets and press enter. And you can see there, Grace Taylor's appeared in the name. If you look down, you can count it yourself so you know it's accurate. She is the fifth name on that list in that column. So you can quickly and easy find that information that's happening. Maybe, maybe you've sorted your data and then you want to have a look at the middle one or you want to have a look at the number 10 position or something um, or the number 100 position and you just want to find it really really easy this is a really useful way of doing it what you can also do though is you can do the same index piece but you can look for a different column of data so actually i want to see the, um, the order amount for grace taylor so this is a really great example again of just adding a little more, bit more complexity. So I'm going to do equals and index again. But this time, rather than just selecting column C, because I'm going to want more data, I want it to find the order amount for grace. I need to select some other information as well. So I'm going to select C, D, E and F all the way down because order amount is column F. And whatever you want it to pull back, you need to select that information press a comma. I need to tell it what row it's looking at. So I want to look at the fifth row down. And then I want a comma as well. And then I need to tell it what column it needs to look at. So we are going to be in the first, second, third, fourth column. So I'm going to put four, close the brackets. And there you can see the order amount for Grace Taylor. It's a hundred. And you can just double check on that spreadsheet on the table is absolutely accurate. I can probably do that without this, but it's great that I can show you a super simple example of using the index function to bring back information. And you can either bring it back from that cell, from that column that you're looking at, or you can pull extra information on and it can look at whichever column you tell it. So if I just hover over the, those again, you will see in the function bar, you can see the first index one there and the second one with that extra bit of information because I want it to pull back a different column. So have a go at that one. Please do like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.